Here we are on Scholar's Way, having a look at a beautiful three bedroom townhouse with parking to the front. And of course, we've got a garden out to the rear. As we come on up, we look over towards Atworth along with Beanacre. We've got this lovely open green space down Dunch Lane. And of course, this is the back end of the development. If we continue on round, you'll follow that round and you can see where we have the back of Leeks and of course the A350 in the distance over to Chippenham. As we continue on round, we can see over towards the town centre. That's only going to be a 15 minute walk down the main section of road underneath the A350 and we're in. As we continue on round, we've got a Asda Superstore and then of course we've got access out towards Semington and Trowbridge on the A350. Or if you take a road out, you'll see out towards Broughton Gifford along with Holt. But once again, you can see being on the edge of town, we've got this beautiful open countryside, plenty of space to go out for a walk with your dog or your family. But we still have that fantastic convenience of being able to walk into town in 15 minutes. Of course, we also have the train station there should you need it. And as we continue around, we're looking back up towards Shaw and Whitley but we're gonna head on in. Here we are in our porch area, looking through into our living room through the door. If we come on in and quickly turn around, you can see we've got a radiator, front door, and then plenty of space for coats and shoes. Of course, the fuse board is up on the wall too. As we come on through, we've got a window there on the right, along with the radiator below. We've got the focal point of an electric fire, which has a lovely fireplace around it. We've got lovely wood paneling and a wall-mounted television. You see there's plenty of space in here with sofas and chairs and still lots of tables around and lots of open floor space. We've had the addition of a understairs cupboard that was added. That wasn't an original section of the house. As we come on round and pan around here from the corner. And of course we can see through into our hallway where we have a cloakroom and kitchen diner. There is our view out to the driveway. And then coming on through, you see our stairs up to the first floor on the right. Opening the door here, you see that we have a downstairs cloakroom. We've got a tile floor in here, low level WC, radiator and a pedestal wash and basin with a tile splashback. And then we're coming into our kitchen diner. So you see we have a large table just here on the left hand side along with a radiator. In the corner we have our French doors out to the garden. As we pan back across here, I'll give you a better view. Seeing back through to the living room, you see we've got space for a fridge freezer. Then have a mix of base and eye level units, worked up space over. We've got an integrated electric fan assisted oven four ring gas hob, stainless steel splash wrap, pull out extractor hood. You see we've got space for a slimline dishwasher, boiler in the corner, and of course our washing machine. There's a one and a half bowl stainless steel sink unit with single drainer and mixer tap. And of course a view out into the garden. And we'll pan around once again, but we're gonna head on upstairs after another view into the garden. So here we are coming up onto the first floor landing. So you've got the second bedroom to the front, radiator, bathroom in the middle and the third bedroom out to the rear. So we'll start off with bedroom number two. We see you currently have a sofa bed in here. We've got two windows to the front. We've got a radiator in the middle. But as we come on in here, you can see there is ample space for a double bed and lots of furniture. You see we have a slight alcove. A lot of people have turned that into a built-in wardrobe. We can see huge amount of space in here should you want to use this as a double bedroom. In fact, this house is ideal if you've got teenagers or several adults, because of course everybody's got a double bedroom. As we look back out to the front, we'll make our way towards the rear, stopping off in the bathroom. So we've got radiator, extractor fan, low level WC, pedestal washout basin with tile splashback. And of course we've got the tile splashback around the bath down here at the end, as you can see. But we'll come from here and we'll continue to the rear where we're coming into bedroom number three. So once again, a good sized double. You see we have a large crib here in the corner. 
and we still have plenty of space for storage as you can see another little alcove once again could be used as built-in storage should you want to and as we pan across you see we have a chair and further bits of furniture tucked down there in the corner so a brilliant size room and of course as you look above the radiator and out into the garden but we're going to head on up the stairs where we have a storage cupboard and then turning left into the main bedroom so you see we've got a double bed in here night stands either side in the corner you see our door through into the ensuite as we continue to pan across we have a dormer window to the front with a radiator lots of furniture in here with chest of drawers another quick look out to the front and of course we have the shutters on that window too i've got a loft hatch up there as you come on in and i'll pan you around from the far corner here so a decent sized room overall and of course we're coming into our ensuite so in the corner here we've got a shower enclosure that has a main shower as we come around we've got a low level wc pedestal wash and basin tile splashback and that is below a skylight and in the corner you see we've got space for a dressing table and they've turned the section over the top of the stairs into a storage unit but we'll head on out into the garden we can see here it's been beautifully looked after we've got a patio covering the whole of the area we've got an outside tap down here in the corner which means it's low maintenance we've got some nice raised borders in a couple of areas ideal for a barbecue and entertaining so you've got plenty of space for seating we've got table and chairs in the room barbecue in the corner more seating down here too and as you see we've got a gate round to the side so that takes us round the back of next door's garden down the side of the end of the terrace and back round to the drive at the front as we look back towards the rear of the property so brilliant sized garden good sized house as well good three double bedrooms but that's where we're going to fish today for 17 scholars way